value has been a thing that has helped me a lot in my life. And I want to share with you how to create value to other people and how creating value has helped me. At this point in my life, I like doing many things, such as karate, I like math, I like science. I like a lot of things. But I found out that it didn't matter what I was doing, I was always interacting with someone. Since I can remember, my father has taught me about the more I give, the more I receive. He told me it was so important to understand this and that I should be always giving. But this didn't make sense to me. But he told me it was so important to understand this that I decided to make a little research about it. And I started researching. And I researched about some of the major religions in the world and some great thinkers and I found out really interesting quotes and a lot of really interesting things. And there's a quote said by Paul that said, if you sow sparingly, you will also reap sparingly. If you sow generously, you will also reap generously. This was a quote that caught my, that caught my attention because I found out that if you give anger, you're gonna receive anger. If you give love, you're going to receive love. Another quote that caught my attention was said by Calvin College. It says, no person was ever honored for what he received. They were honored for what they gave. So based on this research I made, I decided to make my own experiment to prove the theory about giving. But first, I want you to understand that giving is not necessarily something material. Giving can be love. Giving can be an advice. Giving can be teaching. Giving can be anything. It can be e even listening. But it has to be something that creates value to the, to the other person. My experiment was based on paying very close attention to each interaction I had with the different people. So I'm gonna tell you five really interesting interactions I had. My first interaction is my grandpa. My grandpa. What I gave to my grandpa was my time, my love, and I listened to him. And what I received from him was his time, his knowledge, and lessons that will hold me in my whole life. And since that moment, I respect my grandpa for his amazing life he had. My next interaction is my mom. What I gave to my mom was my time, and I had good communication with her. And when I started having good communication with my mom, she started treating me more like an adult, not as a kid. Then my next interaction is my dad. My dad. I spent a lot of time with my dad and with my family. What my father wanted was to me a, to be a team player in the family. And when I started being a team player in the family, he started sharing with his knowledge and giving his time to me. My next interaction is my friends. My friends. What I gave to my friends was my knowledge, my time, and I listened to them. And what I received from them was their time. And when I need them to listen to me, they listen to me. And my last interaction is when I helped teach at karate. This last year, my sensei gave me the opportunity to help teach at karate. And this has helped me a lot at karate. What I gave to the people I teach was my time and my knowledge. And what I received from them was the respect. And when you teach something, you learn what you're teaching better. In this case, was the karate technique. In this experiment, I found out that we build networks. Networks of people that create value. And that I'm not alone in the world. And the bigger my network is, the bigger things I will be able to accomplish. And that I'm always creating value and I can decide if that value is positive or negative. And what I concluded is, the value you add to society is who we are in the world. Thank you.